Solar by Green Greg here. I'm often asked, how many solar panels are needed for the average home? Or how many solar panels for a 2,000 square foot home or whatever size home they have? Well, the answer is it's custom for each and every home. And let me explain why. We have to start with the electric use of your particular home. Why? Because every home is different. You can't compare your 2,000 square foot home to another 2,000 square foot home because the energy efficiency of your home might be different than somebody else. You may have a higher efficiency air conditioner or you may have more attic insulation, for instance. The other thing is your personal habits might be different than somebody else. So you may keep your air conditioner at 75, somebody else keeps it at 80. You may have more people in the home than somebody else. More people means more electric use. So that's why it's so important to start first with the annual electric use like I have in this chart. So usually you can get that off your electric bill, or if you can't, you can call your electric company and just ask them, hey, what's my annual electric use? And they'll give you that number in kilowatt hours. And then from there, some calculations can be made. It would be ideal, by the way, to actually get 12 months of electric bills with the dollar amounts and the usage. So that way the most accurate quote can be given to you regarding covering your electric bill as well as what the actual dollar savings are. But if you don't have that, we could just go by the annual 12 month usage like I have in this chart. And then from there, we input that data into a solar design software. And then that software uses an aerial view of your home. This software takes into account many factors. The local climate, it uses local weather station data the angle of the roof, the direction of the roof, so south, east, west, or a variation of those. We never use a north roof, by the way, because that gets the least amount of sun and therefore the least amount of electric production. It also takes into account shading and it takes into account the solar panel specifications. And solar panels, they come in so many different sizes and wattages. Here in 2023, Solar panels are ranging anywhere from 290 watts all the way up to 550 watts. Okay, but the 550 watt panels, they may be bigger in size. They might not fit properly with the hips and valleys. Also, you may in some cases need just need a smaller panel to work around the roof fence. So every home quote has to be custom. And so that way we can optimize that roof space. Okay, so different homes we need a different amount of solar panels. And then from here, we're able to, after modeling different solar panels, get some calculations. This home needed 29 solar panels and this system's producing almost 15,000 kilowatt hours. You can see here at estimated first year production. And you'll see here at the bottom, it says consumption offset about 74% of electric use. So it's covering about three quarters of the electric use. You don't have to cover hundred percent by the way, but if you can't cover 100%, that'd be nice, of course. So why did I not just fill up all the roofs with solar panels? Well, this back roof, we got these flat rooftops. They have a lot of shade on it. it. Wouldn't be wise to put solar panels there. We have some other roofs that are facing towards the street. Those are north facing roofs. North gets a lot less sunlight. Even though they're in the sun, they have to be actually facing the sun to produce the correct amount of electricity. Okay, they'll produce something in the north, but it's just not worthwhile in most cases. So we avoid using a north roof, and usually we avoid using a northeast, northwest if possible. South roof produces the most electric, and we use the least amount of solar panels. So again, it has to be custom for every home. Once we've done this calculation of which solar panels we're using, how many we need, and then some of the particulars about that home, then we get down to some of the numbers that the customers are interested in, such as, hey, what's the price? How much uh, will it reduce your electric bill, right? What are the savings there? If you're doing a solar loan, what is a solar loan payment versus your utility bill? All those can be calculated after we do all this design work. So we have to get the electric use, design the solar system, then we're able to calculate those finance numbers that people wanna know. Okay, we have to start there. This is much just like, hey, if you ask somebody to do a kitchen or design a pool, right? It's all custom. So it's the same thing with solar. 
So Solar by Green Greg here, and on this channel, I do home solar PV, solar pool heating, and energy efficiency. And I do it all without any sales talk. You see, I've been in the solar industry for 16 years now. I know all the insider secrets, the tips and tricks, but I'm also a homeowner just like you. And I know how it is. You're just trying to get information or maybe even trying to do some quick troubleshooting and you don't want sales talk, right? You want information. If that's you, you just want information. Hey, go ahead, hit that thumbs up, hit that notification bell and hit subscribe. And by the way, please hit subscribe. You know that 98% of the people don't hit subscribe, but that subscribe button really helps YouTube know to bring you more of this wonderful content. And by the way, in the comments, pop in there where you're from. It's always fun to know where you're from and to see how far I'm reaching people. It's so gratifying. And if you have an idea of a future topic you'd like me to cover, feel free to pop that in the comments too if you like. Thank you so much for now and have a great sunny day. Bye-bye.